This is a, a poem slash, a slash a speech. It's a new form I tried out for the first time. Um, we've been uh, talking about future leaders this morning. And I think maybe it's time to... I have one question. Can I have a little bit more light on the audience that I see the people important for my speech? Ah, thanks. There you are. <laughs> so I think maybe this is a good time to, um, to accept the fact that leaders have been very disappointing for the last uh, thousands of years. From, uh, yeah, from uh, Julius to Jesus, uh, Churchill, Obama, Che, they've had their moments, but didn't in the end, they always, well, um, disappoint us. It ended in uh, pity, uh, shame, dissatisfaction. They betrayed us or prematurely died on us. <laughs> See, the problem with leaders, they're on their own. With often lousy sense of direction. Take Moses, for example, big leader. It took him 40 years to guide his small crowd through a very tiny desert. <laughs> uh, Bush confused the sand dunes of of Afghanistan and Iraq, even Mother Teresa lost her faith at the end of her life, ended a wandering soul. They're too caught up in little leader lives, blindly raising fists at injustice and cameras, pretending readiness to fight, to help and hurt, high on ego's ecstasy, and not realizing every step they take is directed right behind their back. It's not the leaders moving forward, it's the murmuring masses shoving their leaders to the top. Those who want to lead the people can only do so by following the mob. Oscar Wilde wrote that. The same man who said, when you're lying in the gutter, you can always look up at the stars. Well, in a time of countries without governments, revolutions without leaders, politicians without power, it's stars we need. And not the few dancing on our screens to determine where you are at sea, you need the whole Milky Way. The infinite galaxy we need. Every sign from east to west, the shimmering dots in between, here we sit full of freedom, looking up, aching, not for another leader, for an illuminating crowd. A crowd like a bloodstream, a flowing, warm red, guiding us like cells through one body, past the limbs and lungs. A crowd like a tight human shield, against the dangers of wind, hate, radiation, Against the lonely nights, no prophet or president has protected us from. The future question will not be who leads, but who will follow me? Who will be my crowd? Stand guard, listen, track my likes, reply my life, be antidote to silent Sunday afternoons, the separating dark between me and you? Who will connect this frightened skin to a breathing life stream? Who will undo the stranger in me? Remember once, we all moved in the same direction, like birds flying south using nothing but speed, altitude and stars and the quiet sound of our hearts thumping as one. Remember, before the gods came and books filled with lies of race, tribes, blood and chosen ones. We have our own book now. No prophets, no devils, no apples, no snakes, no paradise lost, just us. Every phase a page, acting, reacting, 
on the simple facts of life, the future leaders will be the followers, link to link attached to the very last man. Our profiles will be hands, reaching hands. This is all we have, each other and the need to share. Stranger by stranger becoming comrades until the only stranger left will be Earth itself, not knowing how to accept a friend request. And when this final stranger shrugs its skin, when Earth shrugs its skin, when we breathe the last trees, and waves lick our toes, when wind makes our buildings bow, when our food melts in the fields, when ice bears climb our shores, we will clutch to this web like anxious spiders. We will share our last pictures of light. We will twitter hope like birds before sunrise and we will know we are not alone. We are the breathing center of human space and time. Impossible to divide. A star sign made of flesh, forever connected. We will not go gentle into that good night. We will share and share and share and share and share the life. Forget about leaders. To survive, it's followers you need.